enter uh, Mirivone Rocha Mores. All right. 37 now, years of age. Now, but this thing, but check this out. We did a couple of videos on this in the past about these women who are marrying themselves. Oh, uh, yeah. We did one called dog. the sologamy, which sounds like something you would throw in a sandwich. Yeah. Right? And they're, they're married their dog or whatever. Yeah. Or there was the one, uh, there was the model who married herself and then divorced herself less than three months later because she met someone special. Yes. Or, and then what about the dude who married the sex doll? Yes. The, uh, he was like a, that had I, I don't think a, he was Russian, but he was like in one of those former Soviet Republic areas, big bodybuilder dude. He was in one of the stands. And he was a confused poles and holes. Was he? Oh, yeah. He got his ass beat you know, at one of the pride parades. Like, I'm sorry, but if you go to a pride parade in the Eastern Bloc... You're going to get tooled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're you're pretty much, I hope you're a mechanic, because you're, you're going to get tooled up. Just a bit. Not saying that they should do it, but I understand. Mm -hmm. So it was a woman in a Brazil has found a man who was literally made for her. 37 years old, complained to her mother about being single and stressed about not having a dance partner. In an attempt to cheer her up, the mother made her a rag doll named Marcelo. Oh, my God. When my mom made Marcelo and first introduced me to him, I fell in love with him. He was love at first sight. Why? I mean, I've, I've heard of some Uncanny Valley shit, but this is... I wonder if he's anatomically level. correct. <laughs> Got a big pork sword down there that she has to swap out every three days as it starts to rot off and attract flies. Or, or one that you can take off and put in the tissue box. <laughs> <laughs> smells like bacon in here. What's going on? Bacon and fertilized eggs. Ah! <laughs> she's thir yeah, she's done. They have been in a romantic relationship since the day they met. Of course. Yes, a, a man who, who listens to every word you have to say. This can't be real. It's got to be a joke. I would sincerely hope no. He's the man I always wanted in my life, she says. After being together for several months, Maurice discovered she was pregnant. Oh, shit. Oh, oh we just oh, took no. a left turn to the Twilight Zone. It's true. Marcelo got me pregnant. He didn't take care of himself, and he didn't use a condom. He got me pregnant. I took the test. It was positive. I couldn't believe it. Well, neither can I. It's that's such bullshit. Is somebody pulling like a... Uh, Somebody's pulling... Well, they already pulled his feet off. Is somebody so, pulling a Leland Palmer and like s sneaking into Laura Palmer's window in the dead of night? It's like, it's okay. She'll hallucinate and she thinks I'm Bob. Like, yeah. what the make fuck? A, make a deposit. <laughs> mm. Although if her family is this... Uh, is this keen on diving into fantasy land and hey, you never know. A lot, of drugs, a lot of drugs come out of this part of the world. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Uh, not wanting to have a baby out of wedlock, the couple decided to make things official and got married. The wedding was a wonderful day for me. Very oh. important, very emotional. It rained a lot, but it was wonderful. From the moment I walked on the aisle to the end, it was just beautiful. 250 guests had to come and watch this absolute pathetic misery. 250 people like... Can you fuck? Are, can you, are you fucking? Are you seeing this shit? Are yeah. you seeing this? Shit? Did you bring anything I can smoke? Or right, let me hit that. Uh, I'm only here. <laughs> nope, nope. Still terrifying. Here, take it back. <laughs> I only came because they're offering free food and open bar. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh God! They welcomed their doll child Marcelino on May 21st. She gave birth. 35 minute in just 35 minutes at home with a doctor and a nurse on site while live streaming it to an audience of 200 people. This had to be a joke. This is no fucking way. Why? Why is this? I mean, seriously. This is in the New York Post. I know. And it's oh my god, it, this can't be real. Well, I, wow. He doesn't fight with me because he's an inanimate object. It, it he really upsets care. me when people say this is fake. It makes me so angry. I'm a woman of character. My father, my mother taught me to be honest, to be a good person and not want to take advantage of anything. Wow. What are some of the comments? Oh, There's 52 of them. Let's take a look here. This is better than the stuff you read in the checkout line at Walmart, says Mike. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let us know what you think of this, guys. This is hilarious. Uh, Gianni DS, good for her. He's helpful around the house, like cleaning up spills, just saying. And he would get more votes than de Blasio in whatever race he's in. <laughs> <laughs> if I were the dad, I'd have a DNA test done on the child. <laughs> Doesn't remember, resemble the dad that much. I believe she has another ragdoll on the side. <laughs> ragdoll dude number one, you are not the father. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy goal. Wow. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar. 